Welcome to I Am One, where I am one with the Creator and one with myself. Today is October 17th, and we continue in our celebration of Hoodoo Heritage Month with today's reading, which comes from The Big House. It is the number 16 card in this deck, and it is associated with the Tower card from the original Tarot deck. So in the original Tarot deck, the Tower card su uh, suggests or helps us to understand that sudden change is coming. So don't be surprised. Now, when we look at the, the Big House card from the Hoodoo Tarot, this also signifies a change is coming. But if you know anything about the history of the Big House um, during the time of slavery, it was for the select slaves who were um, granted access to work in the house and not be in the field. And so while the slaves in the field thought that that was um, a step up for those who were able to work in the big house, those who were in the big house also learned that being in the big house was not all that it was cracked up to be. Because for some, they were probably safer out in the field than in the big house because at least they weren't as close to the master as those in the field were. And so because of that, you know, the saying is the grass is always greener on the other side. Well, the grass is not always greener on the other side. So those who were in the field were envying those in the big house. And those in the big house, depending on what kind of treatment they were getting, were envying those who were still in the field. Because while they weren't out in the baking sun, at least they were far away from the potential harassment, the potential sexual abuse, the potential um, mistreatment that they could observe or be a part of or be party to in the home. And so we see this magnifying glass that someone is holding. And while the house, which goes back to my point, while the house in the magnifying glass portion seems to be pretty and seems to be clean and seems to be going well. On the outside of the magnifying glass, that's where all hell is breaking loose. And that's where the change, the sudden change is coming. Escape is trying to come, um, trying to uh, get away from or, or save yourself. I, I want you to see that in this card, change is coming. And I think... <laughs> I love how the cards that come together, because yesterday we saw that we, it was time to walk away. And there was a sign, there was um, a substance on the steps that said it's time for you to walk away. Access is denied. Don't try to come back in here anymore because you no longer belong here. So we had to come to grips with it was time to walk away. But for some who didn't get the message, who didn't get the subtle message yesterday that it was time to See that you have come to the end of what you had to come to the end of, that you have gained all the benefits that you were going to get. For those who missed that subtle piece of information, who did not discern in their spirit and say, oh no, that's not for me, that's for somebody else. Today it's telling you, it's putting it in your face. Change is coming. And since you wouldn't heed the warning the day before, it's going to blow up in your face. And you're not going to have a choice but to run, but to try to escape but to try to get out of harm's way. Open up your heart to see the truth. Receive the truth and take heed as necessary. <laughs> There's several, several places in the Bible, for those of you who have come out of church or maybe still in church, where it says, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. For those of you who have eyes to see, don't turn a blind eye. Face the reality. It's time to get the hell up out of there. It is time to seek cover. It is time to protect yourself. It is time to get to safety. Move on. It's okay. And with that, peace and blessings to you all.